Why, hello everybody. It is Bear 58 here today and welcome to another taste testing video. As you saw from the title, we're going to be eating some weird cereal. And not just any weird cereal, Sour Patch Kids cereal. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. But um, I did not buy this. I found this in my mother-in-law's cupboard and my nephews had it and they didn't really care for it. I think I saw Mark's video on it. He didn't really care for it. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. I like sour things. I'm not not that picky of sour food. Now, um, this box, like I said, is not new. In fact, I'm gonna take a picture of this too and I'm gonna put it in there as I read this. But this box expired October 30th of 2019. Yeah. Pretty, they're, I bet they're pretty stale, but the bag seemed nice and sealed. I looked in the bag, there was no like critters or anything that got in there, because my mother-in-law lives on a farm. So, yeah, I'm I'm kind of curious about it, and um, ooh, I forgot a spoon. I'll be right back, hold on. All right, so, I am back, and um, I got my spoon now. I am now back, I got my spoon. And um, we're gonna be doing this, I got the milk next to me, so that's not a problem at all or anything. Now, I never, growing up, Sour Patch Kids was a uh, candy that everybody had ac that could get access to. Sour, sweet, gone. And they have ice cream I, might, I would like to try. I think we had it in the house before, but we gave it to my nephews to take home. I never got a chance to try it. But I heard from Mark's video that it seems to be a lot better than this. But I am curious. I would like to know. So here we go. I'm going to pull it out. All right, see? Got half a bag of some... Sour Patch Kids cereal. Yeah. Let me try to turn the light down and get an up close look at this. Yeah, look at that. Look at that cereal. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, look at that. All right. I, so I'm kind of nervous about it, but we're going to go ahead and pour it. Oh, you can already smell it. We're not, I'm not going to have a full bowl. Just enough for like a... Don't drop it! No! Cats, don't touch it! It'll burn! Especially the blue ones. Especially the blue ones. Alright. So I don't got too much in my bowl. As you can see, it's not it's not full or anything. So I'm nervous. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. I'm really nervous. Man. Really? You're gonna talk over my video? Really? One of my cats are in heat again, so. But all right, we're gonna, enough of me talking. I keep feeling like I'm putting it off. So we're gonna go ahead and try it. Now, if you guys have been enjoying my taste testing videos, thank you for that. My most recent Taco John's one is getting a lot of views, the quesadilla taco. I know you guys are waiting for that Taco Perfecto. It should already be up by the time I'm done with this one. So we're gonna go ahead and pour it. All right, yeah, there we go. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a small bowl. Oh man. Already looks a little funky. Look at that. Already kind of just looks a little funky. But um, I mean, it still feels crisp. I mean, I don't, like I said, I don't know how I feel. So, oh, enough talking. Let's just do it. All right, here we go. Ugh. Yeah, not a good combo. Um, so the first taste that hit my mouth was uh, the sweetness, actually. And then it ended with the sour. I'm usually, I was expecting the sour to hit me first, but no, no, it, um, it hit me last. I'm actually going to have another bite. Hold on. I don't really like it. I don't really... Mm. Oh man. So I can see why they also made an ice cream. I feel like the ice cream will do better because they have pieces of Sour Patch Kids in it. But um, man, I just, I don't know. 
it's eh to me. I don't really care for it. However, I made the bowl, so I'm gonna finish it. Man, that's so weird. What came into their mind thinking it would be it would be decent? I mean, nothing against you guys. Nothing against Post or nothing against the uh, people of Sour Patch Kids. Who created you guys again? Um. Uh huh. I'm not entirely sure. Huh. What's the percentage of sour? Is there a percentage of sour? Huh, I don't know. Yeah, I can't seem to find it on here, but um... Oh, there we go! Our trademark by Mandela's International Group used under license... Okay, so hopefully po I, I gotta look and see what brand actually... I'm gonna look that up. But um... It's not bad. It could be a lot better. I mean... I'm trying to think of what they could have done to make this better. Alright, so I just finished it. I felt like getting out of way. I didn't want it to get soggy. I feel like that'd be a lot worse. And, um... You know... If you don't think about it... If you do not think about the sourness at all... If you just think about it as sweet... It's not terrible. It's one of those things where it's like... Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna drink the milk. My biggest fear in all of this was once it sat in the milk for a little bit and you start getting there and get to the end and then do what I just did, drink the milk. I was expecting it to be like sour milk. Like the taste of sour milk, not at all. But I see the appeal. I see the appeal of this cereal. And I mean, kids will like it. There will be kids that like it. I'm assuming the ice cream is a lot better. Like they do a lot better job with the taste because when Mark describes it, he describes it, it's a sh it's a lighter ice cream. It's like a short sherbet. I don't have uh, sherbet. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's supposed to be like a lighter ice cream, not really heavy to kind of go with the flavors. And you know what? I'm going to try. I feel like I'm going to try that next. Next time I can get a hold of it. But um, you know what? There is that. That was my little taste testing video on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Now, nobody recommended this. I just saw it. I've always, I've been always curious, so I figured, grab it from my mother-in-law's. Let's give it a shot on camera. And I did, and now I am really curious as to um, how uh, other stuff is gonna taste. Because if we look at this side here, on the box, now, Oreos. I've already had the Oreo O's. I, I got that when I went, I tried it for the first time when I went to Texas to visit my mom. And, oh yeah, it was really good, but extremely sweet. Like, almost like really like cookies and cream. But then we got Nutter Butter, Chips Ahoy, and Nilla. Like the Nilla wafers. Man, I, I'm i curious as how the rest of them taste, but I don't know if I'll ever be able to just buy them off right, because we're cheap. We, we get the off-brand cereal. Huh. Anyway, enough of me talking. So, um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to check out any other of my videos, please go check go check out the rest of my channel. I do I mainly do gaming. I'm trying trying to expand out to kind of taste testing, and I'm gonna be trying to wanting to do more reactions. Now, if you guys haven't followed my other channel with my other channel with my wife wa wife wife Pillow Talk Productions, me and her do reactions together. We do stuff together on that one. She'll be a part of gaming videos still with me on this channel, but that one is gonna be more used for like, maybe some vlogs down the line or some reactions because you guys should be seeing at least two, two reactions. One of them is gonna be as of this video will be tonight, but you guys won't be seeing this probably till next week. Ugh. But anyway, yeah, go follow my link tree down below. I'll post the link tree down below so you can follow me on all my social media. And then go ahead and check out those Humble Bundles. There's a lot of good things you can find in there. And last off, the outro music is by the homie RJ. I'll put the link to his channel in the description. And then I'm going to try to see if I can do, at the end of the video, do new releases. If not, it's going to be some of his classics, some of his great content. Hope you guys enjoy that. And... Hope you guys are having a great day, weekend, birthday, holiday, whenever, wherever you are watching this. And I hope that the darkness that is in your life, even if it's for just a couple seconds by watching this video,
kind of leaves you a bit, makes you smile, makes you laugh. Be like, hmm, I might try that. But um, we don't know until it happens, all right? But I gotta go. This is Torgy Bear 58 Toodles, toodles.